Hello and welcome. If you guys are just tuning into this channel for the first time, I'm Chuck It's Crusoe with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor. So today we are here on the west side of the Las Vegas Valley in a mass plan community called Summerlin. This is a gorgeous five bedroom home in an exclusive guard gated community of Eagle Rock. This is a spectacular floor plan with vaulted ceilings in the living room with formal dining room, separated family room with gas fireplace and a large, large kitchen with tons of counter space. Granite Island, you have a bar and a walk-in pantry. One bedrooms, one bathroom downstairs. The primary upstairs with a balcony that overlooks the valley. The master has its own private walk-in closet with a see-through fireplace, the dual sinks, and separate shower and tub. The remaining three large bedrooms upstairs, the backyard will cover a patio, natural grass, and rear lawn completes this home beauty. Now I just read the description on this property and by now you're probably wondering why am I doing a voiceover? Well, the reason why I am doing a voiceover today is because the audio of this video that we had taken was not that good. The asking price for this home is $1,120,000. This is a two-story home that features a three-car garage, 3,666 square feet, total five bedrooms, five baths. So this is actually the den. Right here, we do have some a little bit wet spots here. That tells me that uh, there's probably some sort of leak, but probably had dried up from the calcium and there is no longer leaks. Now, keep in mind, when you see something like that, what you are gonna do, make sure to check the SRPD, which is the Seller Real Property Disclosure Form. This is where the seller must identify everything that is wrong with the property or may affect the value of the property. So make sure that is in the SRPD. Also within the SRPD, it must be disclosed what it is, but also just double check with your realtor to find out exactly what that is. Now, those things don't scare me, but it may scare you. You could use that towards your advantage when you do a home inspection. What I mean by that is you can renegotiate those type of deals. These are great deals here, okay? The lot size for this home is 7,841 square feet. Here's the uh, cover lattice here, okay? Home is facing north. So you're gonna get your sun exposure on the side of the home here. It looks like the home is set back a good 20 feet. You have some lawn, mature vegetation. In this community here, it's a guard gated community, very exclusive. Now, the homes here are high end track homes, semi custom. This is a very desirable location if you guys are not familiar with TPC, which is a golf course, okay? And I believe they used to have tournaments, professional tournaments at TPC. Now I remember I played at TPC once and um, the greens are unbelievable. As you can see here on the flooring here, we have 18 by 18 porcelain tile. We are making our way into the kitchen slash main living area. You have the French doors, and you have a two feet tray ceiling, fireplace, and the flooring here that I seen was actually laminate flooring. Now keep in mind, everybody's moving to luxury vinyl and the quality of the luxury vinyl is now better than the laminate flooring. 
Heading into the kitchen, as you can see, you have the full built-in refrigerated granite countertops, beautiful backsplash. The appliances are a little bit dated. However, for me, I would redo this home. The architectural design on here is beautiful. And I've talked about this cabinets in the video. I'm um, sorry, the granite countertops. I did not like the granite countertops because it reminds me of my granite countertops. There's something about that granite I just don't like. I totally despise it. The cabinets are good where you can actually refurbish the cabinets. Pantry is a decent size. Now, what's great about this home is very unique. You have two access points to go upstairs. One off the kitchen and one in the main entry. As you can see, we have a three-quarter bath. You got the gold fixtures. Gold's back in now. Okay, we got to adjust that exposure a little bit. Here is the three-car garage that gives you a total of 704 square feet. Now, I walk into this built-in here. This is great for negotiating power, okay? And what I mean by that is that you have a room that's built in the garage. The way this looks to me, I would have to question this. That does not look permitted. Also, for some of you guys that just don't know, the garage square footage is not included in the total of the footprint of the home. The living space itself is 3,666 square feet. Now, when it comes to a structural item like this, you would want to negotiate this up front to make sure that the seller will tear that down, right? You want them to agree before going into contract and putting down an earnest money deposit and going through the inspections and paying for the appraisal should you happen to finance. Reason why is because you don't want to spend that money. Come to find out that the seller will not pay to tear that down. Also, you want to do that prior to the appraisal because you know it won't appraise unless there are permits to it. Now, if there's permits to it, make sure to check with the county records to see if that is the actual square footage, the 3,666 square foot or feet. Now we're making our way upstairs. We have brand new carpets, freshly painted. The stairway rails here, I definitely would paint the railing, maybe white. Let me know in the comments below. Off to the left, we have our bedrooms. And right here, look at that view real quick. That's gorgeous, right? Off to the left right here, we have the primary. Should we save the primary for last? Yes, let's do it. Making our way back down. Here's the stairs that take you down into the kitchen. Now, keep in mind the HOAs here are $194 a month. Master Plan Community for Summerlin is $50 a month. Okay. Property taxes is $5,500. The average room here is 14 by 14. Decent size. So here's another room that pretty much mirrors the other room. Okay. Now this one is a junior suite, three-quarter bath. Now let me know in the comments below if you would gut this thing out and you would redo it. Now I understand that you're looking at this property right now and saying this is not worth 1.1 million or 1,120,000. It's not worth it. Well, you don't know that and here's why. What happens if there was already a price reduction and this home is really worth 1.8 million. Sometimes what sellers will do based upon the condition of their home, they will reduce the price based upon the upgrades that needs to be done to be caught up to the current market value and the conditions of homes that are nearby. 
So in this case, do not judge the price until you run the comps. Boy, because you could be surprised. This could be a deal. Or it could also be a steal. Laundry room. You have a gas dryer. What is unique about this is during this time period, they did not use drain pans. But some builders will do a full built out for drain pan. Oh, we got some drywall cut there. I would definitely ask the seller what is going on with that for sure. Now, let's make our way down to the uh, hallway here. Let's go check out the primary. Let's see what the primary is all about. Property taxes is $5,500. However, that will be adjusted annually. So you definitely want to double check with your agent and also the county. The primary here is 14 by 21 with a tray ceiling. Looks like about one feet deep. You have a fireplace see-through. Here is the patio. Okay, coming out to the deck here. Kind of see the view here of the valley. All right, and also into your neighbors. Now, keep in mind, if you are going through a construction build for something like this, and you have the option to add a patio, if you don't have a view and you have your neighbors just looking right into you just like that, then I probably would save your money for structural options and not build a patio. However, that is also good if you smoke cigarettes. Now, if you smoke cigarettes, you need to do the cost, dollar cost per average. How many packs do you smoke a day and how much is it gonna cost you? Is it actually worth the $24,000 to build that covered patio? Kids, do not smoke. Smoking is not good for your lungs. Coming into the primary closet, you do have the built-ins. Okay, not bad. Did you notice the tile in here is brand diamond cut? Got all this beautiful travertine. Not my style. Coming back out here. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why am I walking back in there? Did I forget something? Oh, I just had to turn off the lights. That's right. Just want to turn off the lights before I make my way out of the property. Now, if you are interested in this home, the earnest money deposit is $10,000. What is earnest money deposit? Us agents generally like to call it EMD, abbreviated short. So the more money that you put down on a property gives you leverage. It lets you know, should you happen to breach the contract, that the seller's entitled to keep the EMD. I'm curious to hear what your thoughts are about this property. Can you see yourself living here in this property? What things would you do to this property? Okay. Also, I will have a link in the description below. So if you guys want more information about this property, you can take a look at the location. And I think that's what you really need to focus on this property is the location. I think you will be surprised. Now, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to visit LVHomeExperts.com. I'm Chuck, it's Crusoe with Simply Vegas. And have a blessed day.